In this video, I will show you how I went from idea to full 3D floor plans and 3D visualization in under 11 minutes. And best of all, this is done in a new architecture tool, which you can get started for absolutely free today in the description. So I'm here inside synapse.app. And as you can see, I've already done some work in terms of a floor plan, and I'm sure exactly how you can replicate all of this inside this tool. So first of all, you can see that it's very simple in terms of user interface. Up here, we have some basic tools like adding a frame, which is basically a page like this, using a rectangle, circle, all of these basic drafting tools. And then here, we're gonna use the wall. So in order to use the wall, we can either go ahead and click right here, or we can just press W. And now we can go ahead and draw a wall from here all the way up, right? So this is super simple in terms of how you can draw and it's all on the web. And then you can basically do an alignment to the right, which is exactly what we need here. And then we can close this off. Now, what we can do is we can easily add an opening here by going again at this toolbar. We can use this one, or we can just do shift plus O, and then we can add this in right here. And then once we add a door, then we can change the swings, we can change where it aggresses, and all of that, and then I'll basically go ahead and increase it in size. Let's just go a little bit upwards to move the placement of the door. So it's all very, very aesthetically pleasing in terms of all the options that it has for like design and representation. And on top of that, as you can see, it's very smooth in the way that you can draw. Then basically we can do the same thing. So uh, we can go ahead and add windows. So let's just add a door right here first, and then we can easily switch from door to window and now we have a window on this side as well. Now let's basically, we can tweak it in size or anything we need, or we can basically just go ahead, I'll just duplicate this once. And now we basically have two windows here placed uh, side by side. We can basically just duplicate this and just like in any of the other tool. And then we can basically drag this downwards. And now we have basically three windows right here. Cool, uh, obviously we might also want these just a little bit more I guess downwards, so we can select all of them and move them a bit closer to this wall. So another very cool thing that Synapse has is that if we go right here, you can find libraries of stuff that we can use and we do not have to draw manually. So for example, this dining table with chairs, I can just drag and drop on top right here and then we can have it placed, for example, on this corner. And then we can easily match the same uh, presentation, language, or graphic representation. We can just select them. We can go for the solid. We can just copy and paste the hex code. And then also for the stroke, I can basically just copy the stroke hex code right there and then apply it right here. We can make this um, a one point in terms of the thickness of it. And now we have it integrated onto our floor plan. Now, basically, these are all basic stuff, how you can design and, you know, test things out on cloud and online with Synapse. The very cool thing about this next is that we can turn this 2D floor plan into 3D visuals just by dragging and dropping. I'm gonna show you exactly how. But this is so good because it is an all-in-one visualization, documentation, floor plan tool for architects. It's all in the cloud and collaborative, so multiple people can join the same actual file and work at the same time. And you can get started for absolutely free. All you have to do is just click the link below this video and try this out yourself. Now, for example, we can go here and this little camera feature right here is where the magic happens. So we can click on the camera and then click once on the starting point and another time for where we take the angle. So let's go, for example, something like this. And then right here at these properties, we can just go for 40 millimeters wide to capture as much of the space as possible. Now, as we have this, we can basically type in Scandinavian bedroom in a Stockholm apartment with, let's say four meters ceiling height windows are uh, floor to ceiling height as well. Uh, the atmosphere is overcast and there is a terrace outside the windows. And then we can just click send and in just a second, you will notice how this will feed onto the render engine right here, which is connected to Nano Banana, by the way. And we're gonna have something like this show up 
exactly with the same dimensions. So this is the first ever image generation with AI that has the same exact dimensions as in the floor plan. And it is mathematically precise. As you can see, this is just absolutely insane in my opinion. And then we can tell this, uh, make the interior blue color palette, right? So we can test multiple versions. So this is the other feature, which is the branching. So we can just go ahead, uh, for example, what can we test? So uh, maybe we can tell it, I don't know, make it, make it Kengo Kuma style, which is basically a Japanese architect, if you're not aware of it. And now it will kind of get a similar result in terms of his style. And this is basically how it did a blue color palette. You can basically even import specific furniture into it, which is absolutely insane. And now, uh, we can just go ahead and test multiple stuff. So for example, here we can say add spotlights to the ceiling, boom, add it. And now like you can go ahead and iterate and test design options forever like this. And I'm gonna show you a lot more capabilities in just a second in how we can add specific furniture, how we can add certain uh, artwork in specific areas. So you can see how it added spotlights, we can say, um, make the flooring dark uh, chevron, right? And then we can also tell it, uh, let's say, make the flooring with ceramic tiles. Okay, so now it added the chevron flooring already and it made it dark. The average render time on this is 9.8 seconds. This is insane. And basically you can just test durations by typing stuff out. This never fails to amaze me. And I absolutely love this. So this is how you test and, and basically prompt things out. Something else that I wanna show you is, for example, how we can add artwork. In this instance, what we can do is I can just go ahead and draw a rectangle on top of the image. Let's just make it red for now, right? So we can edit red and let's go, um, artwork horizontal in Google. By the way, not sure for the licenses here, or if we can, but this is just for educational purposes. So I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna save this image, and I'm going to drag and drop it in Synapse. I will keep this frame selected, I will say replace red box, or replace red rectangle with this artwork. And let's see it being generated. This should take about 10 seconds. By the way, I'm not speeding anything up right here. This is fully real time. I mean, just look at this. We can basically go ahead, we can create beautiful floor plans like this in this brand new software. We can do sections, uh, basically drag and drop furniture. And then on top of it, you can do 2D to 3D renders in one drag and drop and with simple prompts. And you can get started on it for absolutely free. And it even added the artwork right here. So this is pretty, pretty cool stuff. Now, what else we can do? Now we can also add in furniture. So for example, I can select this frame. I can delete the previous artwork that we attached. Let's drag and drop this furniture. And then we can say, add this um, right next to to the bed and we can just click enter and this should add it exactly as we need it. So this is how fast you can iterate and design and just test options, which to me is absolutely insane. And this is only available in Synapse. Once again, no other software offers 2D to 3D rendering with real measurements. So this is not a random generated image. If you can see the bed is right there the windows are right there, the dimensions are the exact same, we just dragged and dropped the camera. So, next up, this is just wonderful, you know? How can you get better than that? It added it in the exact place. I mean, maybe this is ugly, but I chose it in terms of the, the furniture. You can test out any other stuff for yourself as well. So this is Synapse. Go ahead and try it yourself for free in the link below. By the way, there's a bunch of new features coming out in the next week. This right here is a floral plan generator where you can basically draw a shape and tell it to generate inside that shape a two bedroom apartment and it does it in seconds. That is coming out soon. This software is still new, so there might be little bugs that you might run into, but the very cool part about this is that you get to build 
and improve with Synapse, the software, because listening to the community is a crucial part of this. So jump early into this new wave of architecture and you're gonna basically leave all of the other architects behind. So once again, if you wanna test out all of these design options like this super fast, and just the best tool, which I think is out there for um, early design and, and documentation for, I guess, residential projects out there, go ahead and click the link below. And if you wanna watch more of Synapse, go ahead and watch the video right here.